Well, I haven't been down here for a couple of weeks, having been away on holiday. And uh, this is not a very nice day to be out down here. It's good if we changes on the building work. And I think that's a little ship that's associated with the dredging. Not quite high tide yet, but I think it's trying to get the entrance clear so they can get the gate operational again. I think at certain times during its action it squirts great jets of water high in the air, but I don't know what whether that has to be at the peakest of high tide, I don't know. Not doing anything else but coasting about at the moment that I can see. Quite a bit of cladding on the outside of the new buildings now. Don't see so much of the framework as you used to, it's all covered in. Community Books shop is open again now. They now say it's all going to open in September this year. Put back from June, original expected completion date. There were reports of this trackside path being closed again due to fears of. Uh, the surface not being very secure at the end where it's been relayed. It looks as if it's open so far again now anyway. More flowers are coming out nicely here by the track. Alright, yeah. So they've got some notices up now. It could drop over the edge and we're not careful. Is this true? Thank you. 
yeah this is as far as it's been resurfaced but there is substantial fencing here anyway Not very attractive to go in there. The top of those steps now, I believe, they've uh, added a few more concrete steps up to that viewpoint. That was recently surrounded by a metal fence. But no, I don't think I'll venture that far today. It's so wet and slippery. Anyway, main buildings have certainly leapt forward in the last couple of weeks. A bit early yet to see any trains. <laughs> Just over a week and we will be able to. so later just, just hoping that I would go up those steps and see the latest situation from up there so I'm going to insert that now Lucky up here, we can get up those rather steep steps. No trace of that outdoor stage now, that's all gone. is for some better steps up there. I don't think it does need a, a surface to them. And a new display board which is good. Maybe this one having been mangled by some vandals. There. 
<clears throat> and then look at the clouds of my mind at the present time. Yeah. Well, having got up here, let's climb up here and see the view of the building. steps. You see this window has now been opened up. There's a little bit of action on the tracks actually taking place at this moment. JCB is uh, running along there. Look at that sky above. Expecting uh, class 33 pulling uh, one coach to come down here. Almost any minute. Certainly old girl here this morning on the building. <laughs> with all this background noise you might not hear the sounds of the approaching train until the last minute so let's hope I can capture it passing by without missing too much of it
the dog train. <laughs> Well, they always were thinking they might come ahead of time because looking on the website at home it had already connected up to the Hawksworth Saloon I thought it might not stop until the exact deadline for coming this way but uh, seeing as it's 22 now it's a little bit behind time Anyway, it looks like we've got a very interesting weekend Coming up, tomorrow morning there will be the first uh, Watch It passenger train coming through with the diesel on one end and the steam look on the other. Also starting tomorrow will be the new coastal open top bus service with Donifer just over the hill ahead all the way down to Linton. And on Sunday there will be the uh, second hand sale at Watchet Station, all the railway items included. And quite possibly a second uh, passenger carrying train coming down as far as Watchet. Well, I wasn't expecting the train to be late this morning. <laughs> It's at least a quarter of an hour behind the publicised uh, passing time for Watch It. I hope it will come. crossing that's an awkward job isn't it in this way can't see any obstruction down the crossing <laughs> that's he has to legally uh, with the green flag to cross.
<laughs> I hope they'll stop on the station to pick him up. It's certainly very unusual bit of uh, level crossing action. Steam one start coming in tomorrow. <laughs> That'd be good, yeah. So, uh, yeah. I think it's 11.45 or... Is that, I'm not too sure at the time myself. Or 11.30, the first one here. Yeah, great. Right. So, Don't ready to get things back to normal. It'll be a better picture than that because it'll be a steam engine. <laughs> of course, <yeah. laughs> that's right. <laughs> Alright, see you later. Alright, bye. There are good people, I don't know if they come off the train or what are they up to. Oh, lots of them. I don't know what their aim is. Oh, it doesn't appear to be going across the crossing, very strange. No, all right, well. They were being carried in the Hawksworth, so I uh, wonder what they're up to. Nice to see a bit of action on the rails. Yes. <laughs> That's for a long time. <laughs> what are they doing, Lee? They're all that group of people. Yes, well, but they've gone up the hill, haven't they? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Any ideas what time you'll be back? We're due back into what is it about one o'clock? Right. But we are running a bit late. Yeah. But yeah, I saw it on the um on the camera, you know, that it was starting earlier than it said. What was, was there any sort of delay on the way down? Well, we started from Woolerton, but now, well, there's no trains running, so we can run any time really. Yeah, that's right. I thought you probably might come down early, but you've come down a bit late. <laughs> Yeah, most unusual train, most unusual stop.
they were used to seeing locals at either end of a train, but seldom in the middle.